Welcome back to Walter again. Here we are in Midgard. I'm John, and this is this loser Ben. How's it going? And uh, we're in Midgard, aka. And apparently city we're in Chicago. Level. We're in city level. Huh. Huh, I wonder and if there's there's a the Hydra dude. Yeah. Look at the way he walks. Dude, he's holding a cup of coffee. Just walking along, drinking his coffee. He's really just shuffling around. How does one walk and keep their shoulders that balanced? Oh. I have no idea what's happening. The screen just fixed itself because of the stupid browser Browser ads. These guys are as tough to kill as demons. Yeah. yeah, who knew that more than one shot of Thor's hammer was required to kill a human? Midguard. It's like mid. ass guard, only it guards your mid. Yes. Oh! Spikes. Well, gotta be careful with those random spikes. Yeah, those construction sites, they're loaded with them. He's going to try to bring the thunder. Apparently he forgot how, because this he thunder sucks. You know, I don't see why he doesn't just fly over all this. Yeah. Call me Mr. Picky. Or just destroy it all. I mean, Thor doesn't care. Thor, how, why? Heck, in both, in both Thor movies and in the Avengers, he destroyed most of a city. You know, one random peon is more than enough to take on Thor. <laughs> Apparently. Why would I even go that way? <laughs> this is the end of the level. And there's more... The absorbing Man. Here we go as we take on the Absorbing Man. For those of you who don't know, Absorbing Man is probably one of the coolest Thor villains of all time. <laughs> wow. Thor, save me from this brute! Remember that because time? Jane Foster apparently talks like a woman in the 40s. Remember that time when Anakin Skywalker's mom was all like, You brute! You broody brute! I'm a slap your dickhole. Oh, thunder works really well on absorbing, man. Don't, don't, wah! Don't, don't, wah! Oh. Ah! You suck, you cheating mm. piece of shit! <laughs> yeah, well, excuse me, this game basically it requires cheese moves. Basically. You cheesed me, how dare you, Thor! You claim yourself a god! God of Thunder and Cheese. These apples are just the most useful. Huh. Yeah, they up your score. Don't yeah. you know how important that is? Well, yeah, we want people to see our name on the huh. leaderboard. Yeah. She's like, I'm fine. Hating Christensen touched my butt, and I felt weird. <laughs> but we beat that level. Yes. Let us continue onward. That was just the first level of Midgard. You bet it was. We're going to continue. On to Midgard. We're going to destroy the hell apples. out of Midgard. Oh, no. I think we're going straight, straight for a boss. The Midgard Serpent. Well. Wait, wait, when did Earth have super serpents? Well, the Midgard Serpent is actually related to the Thor mythology specifically. <laughs> and actually in the Thor comic, too. Actually, I wonder. Oh! <laughs> well, that's something new. Oh, good. He can teleport. And apparently go around the world in 80 milliseconds. Well, he literally is long enough to wrap around the world, so... I get... It would make sense. You know, the bosses aren't really like retro game bosses. These feel like a boss in a game, like, on Action 52. <laughs> it's like a boss from, like, Cheetah Man. <laughs> <laughs> Only better animated and with, you know, color. Yes. <laughs> and without horrible Cheetah Man. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, mm. and subscribe if you want Ben to play Cheetah Man. <laughs> You just hate me and everything I exist for. Well, what do you exist for, Ben? Entertaining our wonderful fans. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe they'd be entertained watching you play a really shitty game. <laughs> if you want to, if you want, we could play Cheetah Man on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> get good. Get good, huh? Is that all? Yeah, that's all. We'll see how good. Just get good. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Why can't this Flash game just, like, auto-kill the boss? <laughs> yeah. you, you, you're not a fan of non-consensual lickings? You know, Lon's consensual licking is just a step too far. <laughs> you know? You can't just have people just licking whoever they want. I mean, you gotta have some sen semblance of order. Kids, it's okay being licked by someone you like, but if someone licks you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable... Just be sure to comment below, <laughs> maybe like make a stick man in the comments, and just put an arrow to where someone may have licked you inappropriately. We're, we're here for you, and we want to help. Yes, this is a safe place. 
Safe space. A safe non-licking zone. Yes. And if you're watching this with someone else, please do not lick them unless they give you the okay. Yeah. There are several steps that you should follow whenever about to lick anybody. Step one. Mm. Ask them if you can lick them. If they say yes, lick so, them. <laughs> although, also make sure they tell you which zones are okay and not okay to lick. Also, be prepared to give compliments about the area that you licked, because yes. compliments help the world go around. Yes. Always be very grateful to the person who let you lick them. I mean... They let you lick them? Yeah, I mean, how many people do you get licking you every day? Yeah. I mean, how many people... Do you know Try not, There are specific places where you should probably ask people whether or not you can lick them. There's some where you should definitely not. Yeah. Uh, one of which being, like, bus stations. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought... I didn't know what happened there. I thought I beat the boss when the game froze just then. <laughs> yeah. Then That's I realized I he has, like, a full health bar. Yeah, I was kind of confused. Uh, you know this guy? It looks like a bastardization of Shenlong from DBZ. Well... I am the eternal you mean dragon. You mean basically any of the dra the copies of him from GT that everybody just loves? <laughs> oh, GT yes, is GT. Just everyone's favorite. Everyone loves GT, watching Goku turn into a kid again, and then random Super Saiyan 4 and Vegeta cheating to get there. And somehow that works. <laughs> yeah. Vegeta broke the Super Saiyan system. Which basically means even Super Saiyans are bullshit. Super Saiyans are bullshit. <laughs> I mean, hell, in the new movie, freaking... The Super Saiyan God! Vegeta is more powerful than Goku, like, just as plain Vegeta, like, and is actually able to do things that, like, Super Saiyan level 3 Goku can't do, <laughs> just by being a little more angry. Just yeah, because Bill's fucked with his wife. And don't you know that is the worst thing you can do to anyone? And it makes you super strong if anyone fucks with your wife? I guess. He didn't seem to mind when Yamcha did. <laughs> oh, well, that's because he knew Yamcha was worthless and couldn't actually do anything. I don't think has ya I, I'm trying to, you know, I I think I in in defense of Dragon Ball GT. Okay. It was trying to bring back the original Dragon Ball series <laughs> by having it be an adventure series instead of a constant. Oh, we're gonna fight this guy next. <laughs> Gotta get stronger. Ah! <laughs> I'm not strong enough, but now I am. <laughs> I'm beating him after 20 episodes of just shouting. <sighs> oh no, he's not actually beat yet. We have to He's got another form, because he can transform, like everyone else we fought up to now. How oh, did no, we not now... know he could transform? Oh no, now the Earth's going to be blown up. Oh no, now it's not. Oh no, now it is. Oh no, the Earth's been blown up, we have to bring it back. <laughs> hey, seriously, at least they actually, seriously, at least actually and... followed through with blowing it up once. I mean... That's something that a lot of series don't actually do. They're like, the whole Earth is in danger. No, it's really not. In DBZ, the Earth was actually in danger. They killed almost everyone on Earth at one point. I think they did kill everybody on Earth. No, well, because Goku like, was still alive. Didn't, and... like, didn't, like, Boo kill everybody? Yeah. Boo blew up the planet. They had to bring it back with 10 days Dragon Balls. Everyone's just talking and... To... Everyone's talking smack about 10 days balls. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they were better than Kami's. Kami could only get one wish. Kami's balls suck. <laughs> well, you know, they he really... ain't got shit on Super Kami Guru. Why <laughs> 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 not have a Team 4 star? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but that's fine. Damn it! You got beaten by the Eternal Dragon. This actually does look like one of the Black Star Dragons from GT. Uh, they were all so stupid. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, you... Mega screw job. Freaking Montreal up in here. <laughs> wow, wrestling reference from 97. Okay, first of all, <laughs> you're talking all about freaking Ric Flair. Hey, we, we were sticking definitively in the 80s. Yeah, like when he was fighting the pharaohs. And... <laughs> you brought up 90s wrestling. We're suddenly going into the Attitude Era. The Attitude Era is you know, great. Everyone says wrestling was that's at its best. It, it was pretty dang good. I guess then. it was. I, I will say it. I could see why some would not consider it to be because it really only focused on a handful of wrestlers. Yeah, but then again, those wrestlers were The Rock and Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels and Triple H. And occasionally The Undertaker. Yeah. Who is the best wrestler of all time. And there is going to be a but, combat war in the section for that one. he's not the best there is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever will be. Uh, Bret Hart's a liar. 
Come on, you got him. Uh oh, switching sides. Thor is pretty good at switching sides Oof. halfway through the battle. <laughs> Slut. Yay, I win! There she is again. There she is with her, like, half a body. She looks kind of weird. My work is done. Yay. Eight other Come back to me, she, Thor. Wow, she wants you. I'm gonna grab your game Asgard. complete. You would Yay, say it, we thanks beat, for playing. We beat the game on Epic because we are uh, Epic. We brought the thunder. We did indeed bring the thunder. The thunder was brought. So check this out. Look it up on Google. We will absolutely have a link in the description if you want to play it. Be Don't sure to like, to comment, and subscribe. Absolutely. Anus McButters, the greatest epic We're warrior. We're, of course, the greatest of all. Anus McButters rules this universe. Mm. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. The amulet the Sif. The amulet gave Sif gave me. It's starting to shake. Lo! I hear a voice. Wow. Already this is better animated than Assassin's Creed.